Okay, so let's look once more at these uh, metal spheres and uh, attracted to the ferrite magnets. As I pull this apart, where is the uh, field the strongest? It's got to be right here at the face of the magnets, right? And yet, as I pull on the outer sphere, <clears throat> that inner sphere always goes with the outer sphere, as we see. Why is that? And after after you do that, then they're correlated for a while until you separate them, and then they're not particularly magnetized, you see. But again, why is this? That the inner sphere always goes with the outer sphere. All right, I'm looking forward to your answer on that question. I also want to show you this very interesting experiment done by Russ Grease. Um... Will Ed's PMH work after two years? Ed leads Scalnan states it will. Let's find out. A lot of fun. Okay, let's uh, expand this here and uh, take a look at this. Very exciting. Again, this is this device here is very much like the one I showed uh, yesterday. All right, it's very similar. Mine's ferrite with a coil, and I energized it with a nine volt battery. He has already energized his coils. He's got two coils instead of my one. And there's your C or U portion and your I portion there. So let's see what happens after two years. And also listen to uh, Russ's explanation here for what uh, what's going on. It's quite fascinating. Clamping. Ed Lead Scalnan's PMH. Okay, here we go. It holds the perpetual motion. So I energize the coils, and it sends an electric current in both directions. I mean a magnetic current in both directions. And then when I pull this bar off, the magnetic current breaks, goes back into my coils, and I can induce electricity um, into a uh, coil or a, a light bulb, or in this case, I'm going to use LEDs, okay? So that's my setup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure I got these wires connected exactly correctly. And uh, two years later two years we're going to see if this thing still works ed says six months it should work how about two years i'm so so excited about this you guys have no idea so this all right guys i've got this recording in uh, 60 frames a second because this is such a fast flash that i actually could not capture it sometimes on my old camera so my heart is actually uh pounding right now because if this doesn't work i'm in trouble um, because two years this thing's been sitting. Are you ready? After this, I've got some pretty cool stuff to show. Here goes nothing. Here goes two years worth of this thing sitting. Three, two, one. Ha ha ha, it flashed. <laughs> oh, I don't care if you say you couldn't see it. I totally just saw it flash. Two freaking years. Okay, now, that was impressive, to be honest, and, uh, clearly a bright flash as he breaks the magnetic I'm flux. I'm right now. Um, I explain that. Now notice it doesn't stick anymore I mean, that's, after, that after that. Now, magnetic flux is broke. Okay, explain that. That's question number two. Is, uh, question number one has to do with uh, um, why that. the uh, inner ball always goes with the outer ball. Okay, I'm looking forward to your answers on these two important questions. Thanks, guys. Cheers.